you know. Okay, I thanks. Can have Okay, what a nice presentation we just had right now about all the ways you, Odoo partners, are now able to develop all your different Odoo skills. However, talking about the Odoo skills that you can embrace and master, there is one part of these skills that we need to talk about today, and these are the technical ones. As of today at Odoo, if you wanted to improve your technical skills, your company would ask Odoo to send either one of our experienced developers from one week to two weeks at your offices, or for your developers to come at our offices. Sadly, over the years, such trainings showed many flaws. For example, from our side, and as Odoo has been growing super quickly over the last years, and as at the same time, our projects and our partners also requesting for uh, trainings increased in, in, uh, also. We haven't been able to provide the right amount of resources in order to give all the trainings that you required. On your side too, all these trainings required your developers to put their projects on hold until the end of the training for at least one up to two weeks. Because of these two major flows, plus some small other flows, all these trainings showed at least two major flows, which were that we, these trainings were neither scalable and neither homogeneous. Hello, Odoo partners. Here is Emanuele. And here's Floriano. And today we are coming with great news. Today we want to change the way we were giving the partner, the partner technical trainings. So, in order for you to understand what kind of new trainings we would like to give, we'll first start by explaining what kind of training itself we want to give. Then, once we understand the concept of the trainings that we would like to give, we would like to also develop a bit where this training could be followed and how your different developers would follow them. And also, really explain how these trainings would change to, in comparison to the ones that we were giving as of today. So let's start from the what. What are we uh, going to do? Um, we started thinking about what are the best features of Odoo. And uh, I don't know if you agree with us, but I think you do. Uh, one of the best features of Odoo as a framework is its uh, modularity. So uh, we decided to use a modular approach to write uh, what we call like training modules. Uh, and each training module will cover a different scope of Odoo. And we decided to start from the basics. So something that should allow you to uh, develop your own uh, first Odoo application. So um, starting from the very beginning of the technical skills, so like how do you create a new model? How do you create the views uh, to see um, this model in the web interface? Uh, the, uh, giving access rights to the user to be able to see the, your data, and then uh, some uh, more technical things like how do you write a computed field and other ORM related uh, questions. Um, well, these might be uh, for some of you very basic stuff, but not everybody here is a experienced Odoo uh, partner. And uh, after uh, building this uh, basic uh, module, we thought that we could just uh, go down the hierarchy uh, and uh, given all of the questions that we received in the, la in the last years about, for example, uh, the old framework, like uh, it's something that has been out for a couple of years, but maybe not everybody knows how to develop something in OWL, so why not teaching you how to do that? Or also one of the most frequent questions that we receive uh, in, um, as one of the partner request that we have is how do I develop my own uh, PDF report? How do I change an existing one, like an invoice report, a sale order report? What can I do? And <coughs> very importantly is also how do I do an upgrade? Or what can I do uh, to make my life easier when I will need to upgrade? And everything that we did was uh, we were able to do it because we started from something that was very basic and we added uh, upon that. But we also thought that we could go uh, on the other way around. So, uh, as I said, not everybody here is an experienced partner. You might start your journey as a developer. 
So uh, we can also teach you how to set up your uh, development environment to be able to work uh, on Odoo and start developing. And we don't stop here because uh, with a feedback loop that we will have, uh, that we will talk about that uh, uh, further down the, um, the talk, uh, we will also be able to add new stuff. For example, uh, how do I uh, write code that is performant? Or um, what are some advanced ORM topics that maybe might not be covered by uh, anyone else? And the most important part is that we want you to be able to choose your own uh, training and choose something that really suits your need. So now that we have a better idea of what kind of modular experience we would like to provide to you, the next question that would come to our mind would be where would you be able to follow all these trainings? So as explained in the presentation before, and we really like the fact that we had uh, an on-site training because it could create some bonds between the Odoo developers and the Odoo partners developers. However, such trainings also brought some pros and constraints. For example, the ones that I showed in the first slides before, because having our, our developers on site would mean that our developers could not work on the project, so they needed some free time to give these trainings. That's why we decided to revamp the core of the training itself. We'll just change the core of the training so it could be accessible online, and then, for the rest of the training, you could decide either you would like to follow the training online by yourself and still have some help from Odoo, but that Amy will explain later, or have, in addition to the content uh, online, a developer assigned to you at your office or bring your developer at our offices. Yeah, but we talked uh, a lot about what and where, but how will it work? One thing that we are very um, opinionated about is uh, the potentiality of Odoo. And one of the um, features that we really like about Odoo is the e-learning platform. So uh, what we started with is, well, building an online course uh, that is uh, built in uh, multiple um, aspects. Because once again, we wanted to keep the modularity not only in the structure of the training, but also in, uh, in the training themselves. We wanted it to be as modular as possible. So uh, we prepared online courses uh, where you will find both slides and videos uh, teaching you the theory about the uh, chapter that you're following. Uh, you will also have quizzes to uh, assert your knowledge and, well, both for you to be sure that you know what you are doing and also for us to uh, help you and to check if uh, the training is going well. And also, uh, I know that lots of developers like watching videos of people coding, so we, you will have uh, demo videos of uh, us developing that you can follow along and do your own uh, stuff on the side while watching our videos. And uh, very importantly, uh, to consolidate the knowledge that you will get from the uh, course, you will have exercises that you can do at your own uh, pace. And, very importantly, um, what's an exercise without a solution and a training without a trainer. What we wanted to keep is the fact that you will have someone, a developer, an experienced developer from Odoo, assigned to your technical trainer uh, training uh, so that they will be able to answer your questions have Q&A sessions, uh, solve the uh, exercises that you are doing. And this is very, very important for us. That's like paramount of the technical training is about uh, fostering and developing a good relationship between Odoo and every partner. Uh, so yeah, whenever you will start a uh, training, a trainer will be assigned to you. OK, OK, Amy. Let's have a break now, because that's a lot of information, and we all have the same question in mind. When will all of this be available? Yeah, I think I spoiled it, but <laughs> <laughs> great news. It will be available in uh, the beginning of 2024. OK, th so this is good news, basically, and we are really thrilled about the new phase that we would like to give to these trainings. But now it's also um, 
where we need you. Because as we are polishing the end of the first modules, we need your inputs to give us the right road to follow. So don't hesitate to either ask us questions or recommendations on this pad, or just to meet us at the end of this talk outside of this room. Thank you for your attention all. Hello. Cool. Here we go. Thank you so much for your talk. We don't have any questions in the pad currently. Does anyone in the audience have questions? Yes. For me, it's also good if we meet outside because I think it's also one of the topics that is better to uh, talk between ourselves instead of doing it uh, on a pad. Ah, but there's someone. Okay, sorry, yeah. I didn't see you. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with something very basic. So first. This is a really good thing that is starting there because uh, I'm working in a company. We have uh, developers working inside the companies for uh, Uru, and the barrier of entry to get good at Uru is really high. So this is one way to uh, to reach it. Um, my question is, um, or maybe it's a suggestion. I don't know. Uh, it's, do you think it would be possible to have a, something like a package or a format that would be? to have like two hours of uh, developers of yours uh, every week for two months so that instead of having everything in once where you don't think about all the questions you have, it would be something like more modular where you develop, you meet some difficulties and then you have, you know that every Monday between uh, two and four o'clock and then for the two next months then you have someone to talk to. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the exact goal uh, here that we are trying to reach actually is that as we change the core of the formation, it means that everybody could follow the lessons at the speed they want and also with the time they have to dedicate to these trainings. So basically, for example, there, one trainings, one way of the trainings that would suit you is to follow the full training online and you could then do, do few chapters. Then if you're stuck, you would still be in contact with someone. So ask the question whenever you want and have the answers then at this time and continue when you have time in the upcoming weeks. Hello. So uh, first of all, great stuff. Really happy that even the developers are getting a little bit more attention in terms of education and learning. And I would like to ask a little bit more about the future direction and vision because for functional people for a long time, there have been the e-learning courses, documentation, mm -hmm. certification on its own. Is this maybe something potentially that would be worth doing for developers as well? Like certifying partners, developers, reviewing that the partners is technically capable of delivering implementation with sufficient quality? That's actually something that we uh, were wondering uh, internally. Uh, it, but in a way, it's not always easy to um, assess the uh, technical capabilities of people. So it's something that potentially we could do, but needs to be really thought of because uh, uh, in a way the functional certification is easy to do but to cover all the aspects about the technical training and to really uh, confirm that you are uh, a certified technical expert is not always easy because I mean uh, we, if you are certified uh, on uh, no, uh, writing a basic Odoo module uh, how can we ensure that you will be able to uh, write a full integration with another system? So like it's, it, it's difficult, it's something that we would like to do, but it's something that really needs a lot of um, attention and not so, not so easy, but yeah, we would like to do that. But for sure, like we want to, uh, and that's I think where, where, where we are headed to, uh, to give more and more services uh, for uh, technical people, because I mean Odoo is a technical product, like so I think that's, uh, what uh, you deserve. Yeah. Any other questions from our audience? Oh. Oh, some have appeared. I'll let you go first. Uh, hello. Thank you. Uh, do you have an idea of the price for the for, for this formation? Uh, mm, so. The pricing itself, uh, we haven't really uh, found the uh, uh, finest details about that. That's something that, uh, as we are developers, is kind of out of our scope. But uh, we are discussing with Lisa, that is in the audience. She's a manager uh, of uh, SAIS. And we are still investigating on how uh, we can uh, 
provide this service at a good price for uh, partners. And well, uh, we will uh, keep you posted uh, through your account manager. Uh, we have no uh, further details yet. Will the training modules be subscription-based, like Pluralsight, or a lifelong access? And this is, again, a uh, detail related uh, on the commercial side. We wanted to really get the uh, um, feeling of people wanting to do this. We have lots of uh, material already built, but the commercial side is not completed yet. But you will soon uh, find out as soon as we have more uh, knowledge and uh, more details about that. Will access be given to partners who have already paid for on-site training? Uh, like on-site training, you mean like uh, you came to Belgium and uh, you, um, or we came to on-site? Uh, that's a good question, Dorian. I think that's also something we need to discuss with Lisa yes. over there. Uh, <laughs> good question. Uh, yeah, as as we were explaining right now, we are still polishing the training itself. So all these more uh, sales-related questions are the the ones that we will discuss once we have a really uh, validated product that we will really be that will be able to sell. Well, thank you guys so much for your talk. Thank you. Thank you.